Hello again. It's uh, It's been a little while since we've made a video or anything, but uh, we picked up uh, a new project the other day, something that I've been after for a little while. Um, not necessarily this particular one, but in the same ballpark, I guess. Uh, I got it because I was really hoping to have something for my boys to to play with and for them to ride and all this kind of thing because uh, they they love to drive they love to get out and play in the mud and stuff like that so I guess I will will show you guys what we got and here she is this is a helix 150 cc go-kart dune buggy type deal um, I did some trading around and I genuinely have like almost zero dollars in this thing so that's nice because it doesn't run but i figured out already why it doesn't run i've messed with it a little bit this morning but uh was kind of going through and i figure if i make a video about what it needs or at least what i you know it what it appears to need then i uh i have something to kind of go back on so a little a few of the specs about it it's 150 cc's it does have a forward and reverse transmission there is also a neutral and it's all controlled with that lever um, there's all kinds of random junk that came along with it like that carburetor which doesn't even go with this or some kind of chain a uh, little like ball for a hitch uh, just a bunch of random plastics and other just kind of useless stuff um, originally these buggies apparently were sold at tractor supply for anywhere from twelve hundred to eighteen hundred dollars is what what I've been able to find um, I don't know that they still carry this exact brand um, they may they may not but uh, so far what I've found is it's missing a nut on the bottom of that control arm there uh, or ball joint deal it's missing the nut for the bottom of that uh, I need to obviously make a steering wheel or buy one somewhere uh, the seat is actually back there and my fantastic tool bag is sitting on it and uh, it's been quote unquote recovered is what the guy guy said and I mean it is covered and it's not ripped up or anything but I uh, I don't think the guy really had a clue what he was doing when he started messing with this thing, which is kind of obvious when you look at all the random wires and stuff that have been cut and spliced. And there's a kill switch back here that's, I don't even think it works. Like, I don't think it's attached to anything. Uh, it's just, it's like I said, there's a huge jumbled mess. I don't know what's going to have to be going to have to be cut out and what's going to be good. Um, the it's got they've got the side cover off because they said, "Oh, well the magneto's in the wrong spot, like the time kind of like the timing is off." But uh, I don't believe that to be the case at all because it's it's not getting spark through the coil with the kill switch on or off um the spark plug is looks kind of dead too so i'm gonna have to do some messing with that um but as far as everything that this thing is gonna need uh i'm gonna have, i'm gonna go through and cut basically all these wires out and go through that um like i said i'm gonna fix the steering wheel uh probably have to build a battery box because that's not the battery that actually came with it it's a much bigger battery which i'm not entirely upset about but it uh i don't know it just kind of is what it is there but like i said i'm gonna clean this thing up take all the crap out of it and uh see if i can't mess around with it and figure out if there's a just a cross wire or something or a ground that's missing or you know some kind of power wire that's not where it needs needs to be as to why it's not getting spark you know so Anyway, I guess I'm going to start tinkering on that and uh, go from there and hopefully we can get this thing going. 